Our next New Jersey Leader Award recognizes the Rutgers University Jack and Cheryl Morris Cancer Center. Since the establishment of the Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey, Rutgers Health and the Robert Wood Johnson Health System have been recognized as leaders in New Jersey's health system. The Jack and Cheryl Morris Cancer Center represents a $750 million commitment. At its peak, it creates 1,000 local union construction jobs and will create 500 to 600 permanent jobs when the new facility is complete. Being developed by the New Brunswick Development Corporation, the center is a state-of-the-art freestanding cancer hospital featuring outpatient and inpatient capacity, coupled with research laboratories, retail space, and ancillary services devoted to patient wellness. It's a first of its kind in New Jersey, and it's a new jewel in the dynamic urban center that is the city of New Brunswick. This new 12-story, 510,000 square foot center will feature brand new research laboratories, creating enough space to meet the needs of 10 separate research teams at the same time. For those needing outpatient care, there are 84 infusion bays, 74 exam rooms, an advanced radiology department, along with diagnostic equipment such as CTS scanners, MRIs, and mammogram machinery. It'll also feature a pharmacy facility and outpatient urgent care. Finally, the center will include 96 inpatient beds on three floors, an especially dedicated floor with 11 procedure and surgical rooms. This tremendous new medical facility will build on the impressive 30-year legacy of the Cancer Institute of New Jersey. The New Jersey Alliance for Action is proud to recognize the team working on the Rutgers University Jack and Cheryl Morris Cancer Center. Chris Roche, Langan, Kevin Duncan, the Middlesex County Building and Construction Trades Council, Chris Palladino, New Brunswick Development Corp, David Schulz, Rutgers, the State University, Amerigo Crincoli, RWJ Barnabas Health, and Chris Vollers, Vollers. Congratulations to all of you for your work on one of our New Jersey leaders.